Today we're going to make a luggage tag. We need four pieces of fabric measuring three and a half by five inches. We need a piece of vinyl measuring three and a half by five inches. We need two pieces of a very heavyweight uh, two-sided interfacing. It's very stiff, three and a half by five inches. And then we need just one little square of Velcro. The first thing we're going to do is make a little sandwich. We need our fabric uh, right side down. We need the interfacing next, the really stiff stuff. And then we need another fabric facing up. We're going to press all of that down with the iron. Be sure to follow the instructions on your interfacing package. All right, I have one of those done. Let's go ahead and do that with the other one. All right, finished with those both. We're going to work with just one right now. We're going to measure in three-fourths of an inch from each side and mark that. Okay, I've gone ahead and marked it. Now in this section, this three-fourths, we're leaving the three-fourths around. We're going to actually cut out this window here. So I've gone ahead and I've used my ruler to actually draw straight lines where that three-fourths inch is. That might be a smart thing to do. Alrighty, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. If you have some nice sharp scissors, you can use it, do it that way too finished so I have a couple options here. I can either zigzag around the inside to close it up or I can just take a straight stitch very very close to the edge. Alright so I have that zigzagged all the way around the inside. Now we're going to put that to the side and we're going to take the 2 inch by 12 inch strip that I forgot to tell you about earlier. Okay iron it in half, open it up and then fold to the crease. Iron it again and then fold it in half. So it's almost like a little binding. Now we're going to do an eighth of an inch uh, top stitching on this side and on this side. Now that we have that top stitched on both sides, we're going to grab the solid piece, the one we haven't cut yet. We're going to fold this in half and then we're going to stitch it right in the middle here, right at the midpoint. I've, I've marked the midpoint. Stitch it right there. Uh, do several stitches back and forth, back and forth. Now we're going to take the Velcro and sew it right at the edge over the top of the strap we just uh, sewed down. Be really careful when you're sewing this because we're talking a lot of layers now. Alright, I have the Velcro on there. That's that crunchy side. Now we need to uh, work with the other piece. So we're going to set that aside for just a little bit. Okay, we're going to work with this piece now. Um, this is my front. I can tell this is my back just because my zigzag doesn't look as pretty. Um, so on the back piece, I'm going to put the vinyl right across the top. Looks like maybe I cut it a little too big. I'll have to do some trimming. Um, and let's flip that over. And what we're going to do is go ahead and take um, a stitch halfway between the edge and the zigzag. We just want to secure that vinyl in place. Okay, you can see I've secured the vinyl in place. Now I need to grab that other little uh, piece of the Velcro, the soft side of it. And what we're going to do, the vinyl side is going to be facing down. It's going to fit right on top of here. So what we need to do is mark the midpoint underneath and add this piece of uh, Velcro. So mark your midpoint and then sew that down there. My Velcro has been secured down. Now I'm going to place this right on top of this. We're going to match the Velcro. We did it right. Our Velcro matches up nicely. Now we're going to stitch around. We're going to do a little stitch here, but then we're going to catch all of these sides. We're going to leave most of this side open though, but just go in about oh quarter inch, half an inch to catch those, but go otherwise sew all out of it around. Remember again, there's a lot of uh, thickness to this, so be careful in um, your stitching. All right, I have that stitching done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back around all of these edges uh, leave this open again, and I'm going to zigzag all around that to close that up nicely. All right, all done. You can stick in uh, under your Velcro, stick in your uh, uh, contact information, and close your back up. You've got yourself a luggage tag. Now, if you're going to use a smaller card like a business card, um, when you slip it in, you're going to find it's a, a this window might be a little too big, so you might just take a, another stitch, about another eighth inch, in if you need to. But if you're using something bigger should be perfect for luggage.